and we're gonna look at the <coughs> volume and for this case your coordinates for let's say x bar was you sum the volumes and you had x <coughs> i bar v i bar then you had the y coordinate and sum the volumes Y bar V I then you have the Z coordinate of the centroid as some of the volume then you had C I bar and V I bar. <coughs> so these are the equations that give you the coordinate of the centroid of given volume. Now we're gonna look at an example. This is a machine. component and basically <coughs> we have it The radius here is one inch. Then we get the width of the plate as six inches. We get this dimension as three inches. As this thickness here is one inch. distance from here is 4 inch up to here and this additional is 1 inch. So in this component you have a plate at the horizontal where this is 6 inch here, 3 inch here and a height as 1 inch. Then you have another plate runs from here <coughs> up to here and it's going to have width as 6 inches and this thickness here will be 1 inch. So those are <coughs> two plates, one is vertical, one is <coughs> horizontal. Then the top of that there is a cylinder which is only half. I mean it has a radius of 3 inches with thickness as one inch. Then there is a hole at the top and that hole has a cross section of the circle with a radius as one inch and it has a thickness of one inch. The question here is to find the <coughs> coordinate 
of the synchroid of the machine component. That's what we are looking for. So we need to divide this up into the smaller subcomponents for which we can find the actual volumes as well as the locations of the centroid. So I'm going to divide this up into the volume one and. <coughs> That's going to be half cylinder. So we're looking at <coughs> this part here, which is at the top. Then you're going to have, we call this as volume two, and that's the hole which is being drilled into the top, and <coughs> geometrically, that's a whole cylinder. Then you're going to have um, <coughs> volume three, and we'll have that as a vertical plate. Then you're going to have the fourth one, and that's going to be horizontal plate. So the whole <coughs> assembly is basically divided into those four smaller volumes and the motivation behind that subdivision is that we will be able to find all these volumes as well as the location of the centroids using the dimensions on the figure. <coughs> and we could do that in a table. So the first one is components. Then you got the volume one. <coughs> then you have volume two, volume three. Then we get the volume number four. The first column here, we take that as the <coughs> volume of each subcomponent, and that's going to be in inch. <coughs> 